Uh, Rich sounds like a really cool guy. He uh, went went on a date with Lori. They went to Top Golf, which is awesome. Yeah, thought, no doubt. We talked. We asked him. You know, you weren't like showing off, or like, or you weren't like upset because you didn't super competitive. Yeah, competitive. And he's like, no, 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 no. But he said she was actually pretty good at golf too. Right. And I asked him, you know, if he was you know being a gentleman and paying for stuff. And he's like, yeah. He it sounded like it was a good date. He sounds like a good dude. Yeah, yeah. And they always do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, that's true, Jim. Well, we're going to okay. see if we can find out what's going on, though. Uh, we actually have Lori on hold with us. And I want to bring her back on. Kevin was able to get a hold of her. Uh, Lori, are you there? Yes. Hey, Hi. Lori. I know this is very confusing <laughs> to you, probably, because you're like, okay, why am I on hold with a radio station right now? Um, mm-hmm. Let me explain real quick. Uh, we heard from a guy named Rich that you went on a date with. You remember going to Top Golf with him? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, he told us about your guys' date, and he really was into you and wants to see you again. I guess a couple of days after your date, he reached out to you, but didn't get anything back and is very confused on why, because he thought things were really going well, and he thought you guys really hit it off, no pun intended, at Top Golf. But <laughs> Well done. Thank you. Uh, but what's the deal, though? Lori, are you, you want to see this guy again? No, not at all. Okay. Um, yes, Why? I mean, the date was fine. Uh, I'm just kind of confused because what happens to going on one date and if the person doesn't communicate communicate back with you, you just let it go? So now he's actually not on a radio station to get in touch with me? First of all, that's that's alarming. That's number one. Okay. Um, number two, I kind of don't want to put him out here in on blast, but... Well, he gave us your number. Does that make you feel any better about putting him out there? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Gentlemen, pick me up, drop me off. I rarely don't allow that because people are crazy, but I accepted him being a gentleman. Um, Pay for everything, but Uh. bringing me home, he doesn't know or realize that he had a pair of panties in his car on the floor. So make sure that when you take a lady out on a date that you take your stuff to the cleaners. In more ways than one. Wow. You found underwear That's in it. his car? Right. And I have to go back to work. There's really no big talk about this. I'm Wait not a about to have a whole conversation about a dude I don't even know. Yes, underwear, panties. You... I don't need to hear no story about it. No excuses, no nothing. You didn't say anything to him because you kind of sound like the to. woman who would say something. I don't something. need to. I don't know him. I don't owe him anything. He's a grown man. Bye-bye. When did you notice this, though? When he dropped me off at my house, and I'm getting ready to get my purse. You know, I'm a lady. I'm getting ready to step out, and I see panties on the floor, on his dirty car floor at that. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. you know so, what, Lori? I don't blame you at all. No. I can totally see why mm-hmm. you would be turned off by that. Agreed. If you want to know, um, we actually have Rich on the phone with us, and he heard what you had to say. Um, I don't care. Rich? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, just, hey. my okay. time. Lori, first of all, first of all, I'm really sorry that you had to see that. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a player. I'm not a player at all. Uh, those had to have been from my ex. I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know. I, I haven't oh seen panties in there. If, if there okay. are, they would be from my ex. And we, okay, we broke go. up months okay. ago. Okay. I, I, okay. I promise it's okay. that's that's what happened really. Okay. I don't. I, I got to go check First my all, car. I don't know I'm, why I'm, there are pants. Got this radio. I don't even know you like that. I met you one time in life, and I will never see you again. And you have a radio station calling me. I don't know you like that, dude. That's number one. <laughs> number two, don't ever do this again. Don't ever call no woman on a radio station about somebody ghosting you. We are adults. We are in our forties. Yeah, don't do well, this. Yeah, maybe, but I. I you, you, you're wasting gonna, my time, and I have to go back to work. I don't, don't care if the panties was your daughter's panties. Panties. I can't believe your reaction. I don't care like if they're your granny's panties. Man, Clean your car. I, that's I just gross. You were a way <laughs> Clean your car. chiller person than this. Clean your car. Can we get off the phone? Because I have to go back to work. Okay. I'm trying to be nice to these people. All right. All I don't right. know you, sir. We'll, I don't we'll owe let you, you go. Nothing. We'll let you go, Lori. Uh, thanks yeah. for coming on with us. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Okay. Thank you. And Thank good you. luck to you, sir. Oh, jeez. Well, wow. Rich, that went, didn't go as you had planned, probably. No. I can't believe she no. didn't say anything to him Yeah, hey, on the date. You she really doesn't need to sound go clean. like the girl that More importantly, <laughs> you really need to go clean out your car, dude. <laughs> Apparently. I don't even know what she's talking about. There, there can't be panties in there. She must have been looking at like a Kleenex or a mask or something. I don't know. 
Well, I'm just letting you know <laughs> what she said, so I'm, I'm sure you're going to go look now. But um, yeah. if there are, you, can you really blame her for not wanting to talk to you again? No, man. She should have said something. I, I, I could have <laughs> explained. I could, I could have something. I could have done something. Yeah. <laughs> Made up a story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. It is what it is. I don't know why they're there. I don't mm. know why they're there. I'm not. There's not women yeah. taking their panties off in my car all the time. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, listen, uh, she hung up. So obviously we know that you're not going to go on another date with her. I would just leave it be. Uh, she just sounds like someone you don't want to mess with either. No. Uh, so, <laughs> Rich, thanks for coming on with us. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't make a second date happen for you. Okay, man? Uh, thanks, guys. All right. See ya. I mean, how did you think How did you think she was going to respond to that? <laughs> I mean, she was not having it at all. And I don't think a lot of women would have uh, done anything different. She was completely in the right to be like, yeah, I'm not putting up with this. I, I mean, really. I, I I think he's lying. Oh, I do, too. Yeah. What are they doing there in the first place? Well, I guess we can figure that out. Uh, all right. Where are you guys at on this? 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099.